guys, this is Gwendolyn again. And for today's video, I would like to show you another handbag, but I got this one from QVC. I did. <laughs> anyway, this is the handbag that I got from QVC. Go figure! It's a denim look. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't remove the tags or anything yet, just because I got it not too long ago. See there? And it's like a structured type of a bag. Like a, I guess it looked more like one of the crossbodies or something like that. That's what I would think it looks like. And with the Native American type of look here. I love that because my father is native, was Native American. I love the anything of that detailing. It's so beautiful. Anyway, it has a detachable strap and things like that. This is not, it's not that long. It's not adjustable, but it does detach completely. And of course you can just carry it like this. It's beautiful. This is the back. The white part is just paper. I'm sure you probably figure that out. It's just paper, tissue paper, something. The whole pocket. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. And the it opens like that. This is the way it came. Here's the inside and everything. It has the two magnetic closures right there. The snaps, two of those like that. And it came with the dust bag or whatever over on top of the paper. I haven't done anything with the bag yet. So, oops, let me film my coin purse. Take that out and see there the way it's made. Like the little, like it's sort of like an accordion. Isn't that beautiful? And it just closes like this. Magne magnetically like that. Okay. This bag is so gorgeous. I had to bring it on here because I had to talk about this one because it's different than any other handbags that I have. And I just, I think it's just so gorgeous. It's a nice, it's a decent weight. Okay, first of all, the material of this handbag or crossbody, whichever you guys prefer, this is actually not denim per se like the whole bag is not like it looks like jeans like denim you know it's like a type of a jean and but it actually is a, a type of a leather 100 percent leather not a type of and this jean look or simulation is a compressed type of fiber the way the lady designed by by amy i think her name is amy a-i-m-e-e -E. I think it's Kestenberg, Amy Kestenberg, that's why I would think her name is Amy. But this is a genuine leather. And what she did was she compressed a jean-like fiber material to make it look like it's just jeans. I mean, well, denim. I keep saying jeans. To make it look like it's denim. Because jeans, actually, you would think about pants or something like that. We call I call the material jeans. Something Tennessee girl. But denim. But anyway. That's brilliant. That is a brilliant look. And this is actually all leather. And oh my gosh, it's, it is really, that, what, a, what a brilliant idea. Oh, that is, that is really beautiful. And I'm gonna spend this time putting a few things in the handbag. Let's see what we can fit in here. It has a zipper pocket and two smaller pockets here. And it has the, like a standard bag would probably have the zipper back there, zipper pocket. Okay. Let's put a few things in it. Let's see what fits in this handbag or crossbody, whichever you guys prefer. So let me see some things I have around. Let's, okay, I have the Sarah wallet. I'm going to put that in here. I have a pochette with my brush sticking out. Okay. Pochette, Louis, both on Louis Vuitton. 
Okay, I have here my Coach glasses. I didn't take the tag off yet. You guys have never showed you guys this, but these were glasses that I had some years ago made for me. I don't want the lighting to show up in there. This guy that did these are Coach. And look at the little details. Let me show you. They're dirty. But look at the detail on those, on the handle. You can see it says coach and they're dirty. Like I said, they're dirty. And it has the lid, so I picked a, what is the thingy, a dragonfly. Because it's supposed to be good luck. I need all the good luck I can get and then some. So I put that on there. They're so cute, but the problem is with these, while I'm talking about, I'm sorry, I always go talk about other stuff. But the reason I don't wear these, I don't need full out glasses, okay? I wear reader contacts. And for two extreme different visions. I've gone through this a billion times, but I just need to say it. And so when the, the one tech took my prescription or whatever, did my exam or whatever, he came up with just glasses. So these are obviously the same prescription in both. Duh, it does serve, serves no purpose. Because I need only readers. I don't need glasses to just see out. I have 20-20 vision, always have. Same vision I've had forever. Okay, so that's why these are so cute, but I'm going to eventually get the glass changed out to two separate prescriptions and have them my reader prescription for my just for reading that's what i need glasses for because remember my like i keep i always explain this sorry i just have to because my vision is two extremes i have an extreme near sight near sighted eye and the other one is extremely far sighted so imagine reading print this up like this one eye is sits perfectly for the other one it needs to be pushed back that's why. That's the weird vision. I forgot what it's called. I always forget. It's whatever. Whatever. But that's why I don't wear these cute glasses. Long explanation. But you guys, you know, I know you wanted to hear that. So just in case you're carrying shades or glasses, whatever, I'm going to put that in here. Let's put this larger, the wristlet from the GM Neverfull. Let's see if that fits. I don't know if it does. I've never put anything in this handbag until right to now. Let's put in here the mini iPad 2. This is about, what is this in inches? Like seven? Is it like seven inches or something? The screen size is supposed to be something of the nature. Okay, and the phone, we put our phones fit in here, of course, but I'm not going to put that in there yet. Let me find something else. Some tissue. Just put that down in there. So we're a mask. We know we're wearing masks now. This is so balled up and everything. I just, ah, oh, I like my thin one to carry in my handbag. So, like I did last time, I'm going to pretend this is my mask because it folds up that tiny. So that, oh, cologne or something. Here's a bottle of, oh, I love the Alien, you guys. The Muller, Muggler. Moogler, whatever. The Alien Wear cologne. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Brush or something. Let's just stick that in there somewhere. Let's stick in there. Let me see if I still have my water bottle. I had one before. Let's see if these could fit. I'll try this next. Like some shoes or something. Hand sanitizer. Something we would keep with us that it's my water bottle let's see if that thing will fit here it is because you know if this was full of water so the same thing come on we've seen this if it's across there so that may be pretty good let's just see how it close because i don't want to make the shape look weird okay there it is those things are in there you can see the side it's like well, it's not affecting it too much See there, it's not affecting it too much. And I would have it with this strap if I wanted to carry it that way. I said initially this could possibly be a crossbody or 
a satchel handheld like this or put on your arm like this or whatever. But looking at the side, the length of this strap, I don't think it would make, I don't think it would be a crossbody. But what a person could do, in my opinion, change out this for a different type of a strap. When you want to, if you want to wear a crossbody and this is too short, because there, this is not adjustable, okay? Because I like to do that. I would get a nice, I wish I had the one in here with me. I like chain straps, I love them. But I would put that on there or just a leather one or a blue or something, whatever. So they're not that, that pricey to just get a separate strap if you ever wanted that. But this one I don't think is long enough to wear crossbody. I don't think so. I'm not gonna sit up here and get stuck in that thing on my head. But I got all of those things in there. Let me show you. There we go. See there, so the water bottle is across the top, of course. But we have that in here. And then the rest of everything else down in there. And you have options, of course, of what you want to carry. So it had the glasses or shades. I have that in here. Kleenex that represents the size of the mask that I fold up. So that's what I put it in here for. So because it's in one, it's in my other bag. And I don't like messing around with it too much because I don't want to ever leave it if I'm leaving the house. Hand sanitizer is in there. Makeup brush. The perfume or cologne, whichever name you like iPad or reader. I like to carry my readers. That's, that's why I use that too because I also do the readers that are typically that size like my my Kindle and my I have two Samsungs. One that size and one a 10 inch I think it is. Anyway the phone would have been in here. I think it fits in one of the pockets. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have it in there initially but see it fits there. And I believe this one seems to be the same size, this pocket. Let's see if it is the same size. I think it's the exact same size. Yes. So the your phone can go on either side. I love this bag because it's so structured. It's just, it's beautiful. It's, it's just a really nice bag. It's so structured, I love it. So, okay, I'm gonna take the, the phone out. Oh, that's our cute picture of, of us. Anyway, so that, I put it over there. I had this in there, the, lar the larger wristlet. It's larger than, as we know, the pochettes. So I have a the Sarah wallet. I could have done the other wallet too, the insulet. I could have done that for you guys. So sorry the lighting keeps changing because I keep putting stuff in front of my face. So sorry about that. But anyway, here's the Sarah wallet. I had in there. I had this in there, a pochette. For like makeup or whatever, if that's what you prefer. But anyway, that was what I had in there that time. I'm like if I was to carry like a spare pair of shoes. As we know, I've done this, showed this before. These are shoes in here. It's there. Since I didn't show it last time, I show it this time. Because I would have put wanted to carry this. These are just just little fold-out shoes. They're really thin, like little shoes that fold out. And you fold them up like that. I've shown this a long, long, long time ago. A hundred videos plus back. <laughs> and then they fold in there and it just closes up. My Hollywood shoes. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put a pochette back in there. I'm gonna put them upright this time. I'm gonna put this long, this the um, wristlet. Put that back in there. And just for the record, this could go inside the wristlet. So one or the other. It could have gone on the inside. That would have been smart to do too. The wallets. I'm gonna put back in there. There's Sarah. I don't, let me see if I see my insulet wallet. I could have also put this in their reader. Just in case a person carries things. Like I always think about students and things like that typically. Because, you know, you guys don't have to think about that. I've been a student for 
seven million in eight years. But here is the insolent wallet. Let's see if that fits instead of the Sarah. Let's take her out. Let's put the insolent wallet. I showed this before. The full out wallet like this and it snaps. You put take the little tassel out. You put that down in there. Oh, that fits really well. That we we'll put the phone, could have put the phone in there. What else? The water bottle. We we'll put the shades back in there. Our glasses. We're we'll pretending those are shades. We we'll put the cologne back in there. We we'll put the this back in there. Come over in front of those tassels. The hand sanitizer. I put that back. And I'm not putting anything in my pockets. I would typically put like put my mirror and things like that. I'll put in there. Let's put the water bottle back in there. Now, I don't think this was set up. It may close it. I wonder if it can sit up right eventually. But I could carry it, I could put it across. I think this could still close. No, that's kind of pushing it. I can't put the water bottle in there with the way I have it now. But that would close like that too but I changed it up a little bit. I put these upright there. So neat. This is naturally like an organizer with the shape of it. So I love that. I love that. Let me see if I can make a wart the water bottle go upright. I'm going to see if I can accomplish that. See if I can move something out of a corner. I got this in a corner. I got this in a corner. Let's see if I can move a few things around and make the water bottle fit upright. Let's just see if it fit by the size of it. Let me take these things out first. This bristlet iPad Mini 2 shoes makeup bag um, thingy. What is this, you guys? What's the thingy? Yeah, that. The pochette. Move the handbag. Maybe this handbag can go. Oh, I think this can fit upright too. No, I don't think the water bottle can go upright. I may have to. Maybe I could. Maybe I could fit on that. I may have to push it down a little bit. But this gives. Okay. If I push it down, it could go in there. Okay, a water bottle sitting upright. But this is a flexible. This is a flexible material that this bottle is. So it fits because it's a little bit flexible. See, it would just sit up like that. But being that it's the type of material that it is, and if this would probably be a little bit shorter than a standard water bottle, because this part here, that gives it a little bit more height, this cap and things on it, correct? So without that, this is like 17 float ounces or whatever. Because um, we could carry it a smaller water bottle. So it would, one something shorter than this, I wish I had my tape measure in here with me, would fit. So a water bottle could fit in there. And then this, even with the insolent wall wallet, I have it sitting upright. I could carry it like that. Okay, so. You got a little bit of flexibility and it's such a good thing because the bag is being that it's, it's so sturdy you know what i'm talking about it's like so it doesn't it allows you a little bit more flexibility with what you want to carry because everything is not necessarily falling over on itself understand so anyway that's enough i'm tired of this bag because i'm just some hot and I don't want the camera to cut off. You guys know the camera doesn't let me talk for too long. So I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I would eventually come back later and do a, or may post pictures with me holding the bag. I may consider doing that. So, but for right now, I'm going to go get ready to charge the camera again, because I'm sure it's going to be coming up and start whining about it wants to be charged. I'm just guessing. But in the meantime, here we are again. There she is again. She's it's a leather, genuine leather handbag. See, 100% genuine leather that's created to look like she's 
compress this denim to make it look like it's a denim complete bag, but it's a full out leather handbag from QVC. Boom! And if you want to purchase one from there, just saying, I'm not, we know I'm not being sponsored because I would have really wrapped the bag around me and everything, but it's, you can make payments possibly. So one of the options if you don't want to just buy it outright. Anyway, hot. So love you guys so much. Glad you're still hanging in there. I'm going to get some things ready together for you so you can hopefully, I may try to post a picture of whatever. And with my me standing in whatever, I'm like five, a little bit over five, six, almost five, seven, my height. So when I'm doing this, you get an idea of how tall I am. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to go. Thank you guys for being around. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Stay around and remember to take care of yourself, take care of others, be safe, be safe, be safe. Do what you need to do to get through this situation we're going through. I just say it all the time. Just a little reminder. Ding! Reminder. But take care of yourselves again. Oh, uh, what do I say? Remember to love. I mean, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to turn on your notification. Remember to do that. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Love you. Bye. This is.